All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Graveyard Keeper. This game is coming out on the 15th on Steam. They sent me a key early, which is actually pretty great because I've been meaning to check this out. I don't know what it's about, aside from keeping a graveyard, which is sort of what the title implies anyway. So you really didn't need me to explain that to you. Anyway, I think it looks a lot like Stardew Valley, and it's by the creators of Punch Club, which is a game that I played on this channel that I've very much enjoyed. I also really enjoyed Stardew Valley, which uh, apparently this game is, is somewhat similar to, uh, but that game was too happy. What I want in my games is to be depressed, to the point of uh, me just going back to bed and shutting down the game, so hopefully this is it. Let's jump in. It is an ordinary day, and our hero is her- I uh, didn't get to read all of that. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and- Okay, feeling lo- Especially when you know that someone misses you. Oh. Now that's a bummer. See, that's what I'm looking for. That's the stuff I want to see. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. That's what we all want to hear after we die, right? Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Gary or Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Gary. See, I can only I can only hope that when I die, probably at some point pretty soon, I'm gonna I'm gonna have the same uh, the same outlook on life. Just yeah, all right. I'll go dig up this guy. All right, let's go cook something, huh? It's not. I don't know a lot of recipes, do I? All right, that's cool. Yo, let me dig you up, Gary. Holy sard, I'm a skull. Are you G Jer Gary? G Gary? Hmm, why would you think I'm G Gary? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up G Gary. A red eye? I remember. Oh, sorry, that's right, I'm G Gary. How did you find me? Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. Why are you just a skull, dude? What happened to the rest of your body? I don't remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely... Okay, well, I didn't get to read any of that, but that seemed pretty cool. Something is wrong with that animal. Why? Is this a little... Have you not seen Shrek, dude? Hey, buddy. Oh, <laughs> that noise. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. <laughs> you can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's a noise, man. I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns that. I know, right? Society is not fair. I only earn five carrots a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? It was a communist donkey. All right, I like that. The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this once, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Did you just ditch a corpse right next to me? Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. Use E to pick up and drop large items. You know what? I don't do what this game wants me to do. I'm gonna take this elsewhere. Bye, buddy. There's a river. Oh, I'm not allowed to throw it in the river? Okay. To the morgue. I like this place. It feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Hmm, what's next? Oh yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? I mean, yeah, that's pretty much correct. Nothing is right here. So shut the sard up and do what I tell you. Autopsy, baby. Let's go. Extract some of that nice juicy flesh. Uh-oh. You've unlocked new technology and got... I can make burger sandwiches and baked meat. 
That's disgusting. That is disgusting. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Let's bury it. Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave, then dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body or what remains of it in the grave. Bury. Decorate. Warning. Do not use gold skulls and upside down stars for decoration. Makes sense. All right. I think I like this version of The Sims better than the uh, the actual version. All right, you know what? This is our first body. It goes not right next to the entrance. Goodbye, corpse. Nicely done. Hmm, this burial certificate. I remember M money, alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm, I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. What's up, boss? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. This graveyard is a big, fat mistake. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. That's how it works. That's how graveyard keepers get their money. Uh, they trade burial certificates for money at the tavern. How could I forget? So we need to up the quality of this here graveyard. I'll take some repair kits and stuff. I'll take an axe. I'll take a pickaxe and a hammer. Let's, uh, let's go fix this place up, shall we? Noise. We're actually getting experience from slapping a couple of sticks with a shovel. Just like in real life, there's a lot to learn by just slapping sticks with shovels. I'd recommend it to everyone. I did it a lot when I was growing up and it made me a better man. Alright, let's be on our way now. My energy is getting low. I've been slapping a lot of sticks with a shovel. If you know what I'm saying. Let's get out of here. Wait, is this the border between Graveyard Keeper and Stardew Valley? Because I think I found it. Hey, we made it into town. What's up, baby? Talk to me. Just talk to me. I got some flesh for you. Nobody wants to talk to me. Is it because I'm a graveyard keeper? This is classist. Ooh, welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Horadric. How, Horadric. How can I help you? I don't know how to pronounce his name, man. I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. I mean, look, from what I saw when I came in, they look a little bit shitty, but okay. What are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? Let's defeat the Huns. How can I help you? Yeah, I got a burial certificate. Please give me money. According to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. You just said things were going well, you lying scumbag. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Why would the, why don't not just bring those straight to me then? Okay. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. That's what you call it here, huh? Okay. New task, I guess. Many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? 
Not yet. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. To be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every symbol thingy. I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Bye. Oh, Keeper, could you kindly like, take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kresvold? Sure, why can I find him? So not only does this guy refuse to help me or pay me in any way, I'm actually running a stupid errand for him now. Presumably, I will not be paid for this either, because the village is low on money. I don't know how that works, but sure. Mm, this kind of looks like a blacksmith's place. It's not. Hmm, this kind of looks like a blacksmith's place. It's not. Hmm, this guy kind of looks like a blacksmith. He's not. This flower kind of looks like a blacksmith. <laughs> I don't have enough energy to pull it from the ground. But it's not a blacksmith. Okay, this definitely looks like a blacksmith's place. Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing, I'm just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kresvold. Okay, well, here's a letter. I have a letter for, for you from Horadric. A letter, of course, one minute away and he can't be bothered to come himself. Hey, I, I, I like the cut of this guy's jib because I agree. I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Hmm, slimes again. Horadric asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and an energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right behind me. You can keep the whetstone, blah blah blah. Isn't this guy the blacksmith? Why am I repairing a sword if he is the blacksmith? That is literally the entire extent of his job. Fix that sword right on up. I don't have enough energy. Let's go. All right, got me a sword now. That takes a lot of energy. Oh my god. Whoa. Slimes, dude. What is this? Uh, Stardew Valley or something? Actually. Yeah, it does look a lot like Stardew Valley, doesn't it? Hey, man. I killed some slimes. Good job. Take this whetstone. Just sharpen your broken tools and they'll be as good as new. Whoa, we can get jelly now. Bye. Yeah, so Mr. Skull has, uh, Mr. Jagari has asked us to get him a beer from the tavern. So we're gonna go try and get him one now. Wadala boo! Dabi dab boo dop. You wanna be loved by me. Shaluba duba wawa. <laughs> that should be my new catchphrase. What up, babe? Hi. What do you want? I'm a graveyard keeper, and I, was, I want to ask you some questions. I see, you know how many times a day I hear that say mumbling? Did she just say croissant? What the hell? I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Wow. How are you, Miss Charm? You kind of seem like a bit of a mm, bee. Can I have a moment? Look, I was chatting up that hot lady, dude. What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally to go away. Oh, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. I'm not just anyone. I'm the local graveyard keeper. Soon to be prior of the local church. Hmm, how primitive. I'm a well-known poet in certain small circles. My name is Wagner. One day I'll read my poem to her, and then, well, but first I need to write it, and I am catastrophically out of paper and ink. Maybe you can get me some. Look, I don't like you, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely put off this quest until the end of the game. Bye, sucker. Right, I was gonna get beer. I totally forgot. Back in we go. 
It's good you know how to use a sword. Crestfold told me about how you helped him. Wait, so you actually saw him in the meantime, so you could have just... You could have just given him that letter yourself, you sack of garbage. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Oh, actually, that's pretty sweet, because I needed that. You still sack of shit, though. See ya, buddy. I'm getting on back to my skull, friend. Hey, it's my buddy. Why were you waiting there? Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody's okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sark, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing? I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Sweet. More stuff, dude. Wheat. Exactly. I remember baking bread out of it. And pies. Mmm. Sweet berry pies. Sweet. There's more. Toast. Onion toast. Oh, and that's good with beer. You know what? I need a beer. Hey, I got you a beer, buddy. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff. Alright, well, since we're here, let's grab some berries. Yummy. You know what? He probably lives in the morgue. There you are, you ugly head. Hey, where's my beer? Story of my life. Here you go. Ah, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. Alright, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. I don't remember too clearly, but it was for doing something similar that I lost my body. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right. I should be more careful. So what was your question? I have some questions. How can I get home? I'm sure you could use the portal on which hill. Oh, there was a portal all along. You could have told me that from the very beginning. That would have been very sweet. I told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Wow, the church has a library in its cellar. Wow, that's convenient. Maybe the young astrologer knows. He's a smart boy. Through the church. I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net. I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish this sort, I've got no hands to show how big it was, but believe me, it was huge. I hate fishtails. And once... You know what? I need to go. Sure, sure. It's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. Copy that head face. You know what? We had a long and stressful first day here as graveyard keeper. I think we need to take a little nap. Time to go to bed. I'm so refreshed. Uh, this is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Why are you in my house, dude? Hooray, a kipper. Well, I've been here for hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wow, dude, I live here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. Well, which is it? Make up your mind, dude. We do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you can help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he is Jagari. Funny. Ah, uh, the half-dead skull. That jealous bastard, haha. <laughs> you can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you needed a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Alright, well, let's go throw a body in a, in a river, I guess. 